Hey everyone, it's Adam here. I was just going to do a quick video on this GE Cafe oven. It's gas and electric. So on the top you have five gas burners. These are really nice. You have a long one here. You can take this off and actually put on a skillet. So you can do various kinds of cooking there. And the controls are nice and easily readable. Let's see, I'll turn on this one. You see this burner is a little bit different than the rest. It has a center ring. See that? So a nice even amount of heat is going to be hitting anything you put there. Uh, the controls are nice and clean. They're all on the front. So like I said, this is gas and electric. The tops, focus here. Tops gas inside here is electric. And you can see you got two nice bright lights in there. See the fans in the back. Back there. And you can see there's a vent there, there, and down there. And the fan spins and it circulates the air through the oven. Cooks the, hood, the, cooks the food nice and even. And it's got three racks inside. This is a pretty big oven, really. Uh, the window there is nice and big. Let's see if the light's on. I'll turn the light on here. Uh, this one. I don't know how well you can see that. Probably not well with the glare from the glass, but nice big viewing area, so that's good. The whole thing's stainless steel. Really clean look. Looks nice. And the bottom, instead of wasting space with a, uh, a drawer to, for your pans and things like that, this is actually the second oven. This one cooks uh, over 400 degrees as well. You can see the burner down there, or you can just use this as a warmer. So whatever you want, this rack comes out so you can clean it. And I don't know if you're used to the old drawers, but they stink as far as pulling these out. They have really nice, strong tracks for the drawer to go in and out. It glides really well. So I think anybody would love this. And uh, Better way to do your pans is to do um, slots, vertical. So you just take out one pan. I can't stand the old ovens where they're all stacked up on top of each other. Anyway, so what else? Let's talk about some more controls here. You have convection bake, or if you just want to bake without the fan, you can do that convection roast or just regular. The probe, obviously you have the self-clean. There's the... Um, you know, timer or temperature settings. You know, the rest is, is pretty basic. But the probe is the is right here. So if you're doing a roast or, you know, Thanksgiving turkey dinner or whatever, you plug in the probe right there and it sticks right in the turkey. And then on this display, it'll tell you the temperature of it. So you can do convection bake. You know, I don't know. Let's just do 250, start. You see the display shows you that it's convection. And the red right there shows you the top and bottom broilers are working. So the oven can be heating up and right next to it here, this is for the lower oven. Just push it in, give it a turn, whatever you want. Temperature readings are right there. All the way up to 450, a little red light goes on. And now this thing probably turns off once I pull it out. See, so yeah, there's the burners. You can feel them getting hotter. Okay, I'm gonna do a little quick test here. Online, I was reading some people giving reviews that they are having a problem with this burner being too high and that there's no real good adjustment range in between high and low, that it's always the same height. So I'm gonna test it on here and see if we notice anything wrong with this oven. So I'll do uh, this one first, the back one. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see the flames, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, so that flame, yeah, 
that looks right and good. It's not going past the grill here, it's, but it's a pretty good uh, amount jetting out. So let's do the adjustments. Now I'm going to start it high and spin it down. Okay, so from 9 to 7, I'm only hitting 7 there, and then 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it basically looks off, but it's still on. That one seems to be working fine. Let's try this one that everybody complains about. Well, not everybody, just the people that I've read on that one. Uh, YouTube video. Let's see. So I'll turn it on. Okay. And the flames are about the same height. So I'm on power broil mode. Now it's at high. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Low. Yeah, this one seems to be working perfectly. On every step, I see a difference. Let's go to the center. Okay, I'll turn it on there to high. It's got the numbers on it. Hope you can see some of this stuff. That's a little better. Okay, we're at high now. Nine, eight. Doesn't seem to be too much of a difference. There's seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So I'd say, but eight doesn't seem to, going from nine to seven doesn't seem to do much, but I can see the flame jumping. So it is doing something. I'd say, yeah, it works. I mean, there's, it's not like, you know, a computer, it's, up to your preference, I guess, on how picky you want to be about these, but I'd say that one worked fine. Okay, now let's go to this one. Okay, now this one starts on power broil. This one doesn't have numbers. So now I'm down to high. Power broil, high. Now from high to medium. High to medium. Yeah, this one works fine. And now the last one in the back. I'm at high. Let's see, what did I hit? There we go. I'm at high. Nine. Eight. Seven. Doesn't seem to be too much difference. Yeah, I'm spinning it like this. I can hear a slight fluctuation in the gas. So it is changing it, but you don't really notice it with your eyes or anything. You can hear it though. Okay, now I'm at, let's see, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So there's not a big difference doing nine to seven. Um, but you can tell on the other numbers there, but I'd still say that's totally fine. I mean, who's sitting there really looking at the numbers every time? I'm not. But, you know, if that's important to you, this one, I haven't noticed any problem with it, but you guys can be the judge. And here's the model number here. In case you're wondering, ESS on appliances usually always stands for stainless steel. Here's some of the specs. There you go, there's some of the specs there. So, anyway, I hope this video's been helpful. If so, I'm gonna do another video on the other cafe appliance here, this dishwasher. So, if you wanna look at that, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.